Let me show you how to keep your customer's card information safe with PCI compliant forms. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for PCI compliance. And if you need to gather online payments for orders, donations, or anything of the like, you definitely wanna keep your customer's card information safe. And as you can see right down here, we can gather payment securely with JotForms PCI DSS service provider level one compliant online forms, which is exactly what you want. Now, something else you might notice is it says you can access 30 plus payment integrations, but today we're gonna kind of touch on PayPal, Square, Stripe, and Authorize.net. So let's go ahead and jump over into my dashboard. Now for this example, let's go ahead and create a brand new form. So top left-hand corner, we'll do create form. We'll start from scratch on the classic form. And I'm going to bring in just a couple normal form elements. We'll do full name and email. Now, if we head over to payments, the great thing about this is there's nothing that you have to do to turn on PCI compliance. It's already baked into JotForm. So like I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of these. So let's do PayPal business first. And you can see the integration open up on the right hand side let's go ahead and connect perfect we also have the different modes so right now we're on live mode but i would highly suggest putting into test mode signing in so that way you can test your form before you push it out to the masses we get to choose our currency and then our payment type so we can sell products we can have a user defined amount or we can collect donations let's go and switch it to collect donations for this example and we can change my products to donation amount then over on the right hand side, we get to choose what that payment method looks like. We can either choose to show the debit credit card and show PayPal, which are both checked on right down here. Perfect. And we can come down here to the additional gateway settings and we have even more. We have the charge customer later option, which is always nice. And we can change the button shape, color, size, all of those things as well. So let's go ahead and save this and we are good to go. We can come up here to preview form. We can fill form. We have our donation amount and how we're gonna pay, whether it's debit or PayPal, it's gonna go through and it's going to be PCI compliant. Perfect, let's go ahead, jump out of preview form, let's delete PayPal and let's try authorize.net. Now from here over on the right hand side, you can see we need to grab our API login ID and our transaction key from authorize.net. But again, it really is as simple as that. We have the additional gateway settings just like before. We can allow them to choose multiple products. We can show the price on the form. There's a lot of different things that we can do within the additional gateway settings, but we can go ahead and close out the additional gateway settings. But again, as long as you grab your login ID and your transaction key, you'll be good to go for authorize.net. So let's go ahead and get rid of authorize.net and let's bring in Stripe. Now, again, we can change this into test mode. Let's connect to Stripe. Perfect, and as you can see, because I chose test mode, we have the sandbox mode message right up here at the top. We can enable the one-click checkout with link, and right now it's on sell products, but let's go ahead and do that collect donations again. Perfect, and we can do the donation amount again. Perfect, and again, we have the additional gateway settings down here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and preview. Perfect, super simple. Let's go ahead and jump out of preview form. And then the last one we're gonna chat about is going to be Square. And you can see all of these are very similar. It's just logging into the one that you want to use. And the great thing about it is again, they're all PCI compliant. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about ensuring your forms are PCI compliant, let us know down below in the comments. And don't forget to go back and check out that features landing page for more information. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.